Hello, my name is Brian Robinson. I'm with Summit Marine, and I'm here today at Stewart Boat Works to talk about the Stewart Boat Works 27 and its C Zone digital switching system and its integration with Garmin. On this particular boat, we have a switch panel that includes push button switches, and we have two Garmin displays that are fully integrated with those switches. Once the battery switch is turned on and C-Zone begins to wake up, the lights will blink for approximately seven seconds, and then C-Zone automatically turns on the overhead lights. So if this is a nighttime application, the boat will be lit up. At this time, you can boot up your Garmin screen, and during that boot up process, you're gonna have access to any controls on the switch panel. So if it's daytime and I wanna turn off my hardtop lights, I can turn them off and I can turn on any other circuit during this boot up process. This is one of the key things about the switch panel. So the Garmin screens, like in your car, may take a little while to boot up, but you still wanna have access and control to some of the devices in your boat. So if I choose to turn on my bilge pump, my bilge pump is on and operating, but yet my screen isn't booted up. Once the screen is booted up, I'll have full control of those same circuits from the screen. Once the Garmin screen has finished its boot up process and you, you acknowledge, it's gonna to default to the C-Zone digital switching page within Garmin's list of available pages. If you'll notice, the bilge pump buttons are both on. We had turned the bilge pump button on at a, at when we initially booted up. But now I can have the same control from the screen that I have from the button. You also have control of every other circuit in the boot. So if I chose to choose to turn on another circuit, in this case, I'm gonna turn on my bait well pump. I can turn it on from the screen, and as we did with the bilge pump, the switch on the panel is also gonna be on. They work together and are in full control of the circuits. In addition to this page, we've got switching available to you on your chart pages or your combos. In this case, I have a combo page set up that's got a partly, part of the page is the navigation screen and the other part of the page is switching. So again, if I choose to turn on something from the screen, it's gonna work the same on the switch panel. So now I can turn on and off those same circuits together. Several circuits in the Stewart 27 are wired external of C-Zone. Most importantly, the bilge pump and the high water alarm. So if we look at the bilge pump circuit on the manual side of it, when I press the button, the pump comes on and the light illuminates both on the screen and the switch. Once the manual side of the bilge pump is turned off, the indicator light is gonna be focused to the automatic side of the bilge pump. So when the automatic bilge pump comes on, the small green light will illuminate. This indicates the automatic bilge pump is on, completely external to C-Zone, and connected directly to the battery as a conventional boat. In addition to circuit control, C-Zone also provides circuit protection. It's a program feature within the system, and the goal of this protection is to shut off the electrical circuits in the boat before they actually blow the fuse. There is a fuse in the system that acts as a backup, but the goal is to allow the operator to turn on and off circuits when they blow from the helm. So in this case, we're gonna mimic a overcurrent fault condition when we turn on the overhead lights. So when I go and turn on the buttons, you're gonna see the lights are gonna to try to turn on, but that flash was they tried to turn on and their current surpassed what, the, what our automated circuit protection was set at. So immediately on your screen, you get an alarm that's gonna say overcurrent fault hardtop lights and the associated button for hardtop lights is also going to be blinking, indicating that that circuit is in a fault condition. So if I press OK, I'm going to acknowledge the fault from the screen, and now I can try to turn the light back on, but if the light overcurrents again, it's going to shut it off, and you're going to get an alarm at the screen. So again, the goal here is this is a circuit protection feature, acts just like a fuse. We have a redundant fuse built into the system, but this is gonna keep the operator from having to go figure that out. C-Zone provides some unique circuit control features. One of these is scrolling, or we call it sequential switching, where you can use one button to select several circuits or scroll through a circuit. In this case, we're gonna start with the hardtop lights. If I turn on the hardtop lights with one push, they're gonna to default to their color. If I quickly turn them on and off, they're gonna to default to the next color. 
But now with that same button, while the circuit is on, if I hold it down, the light is gonna begin to dim. When I release my finger at that position, the light will stay then at that dimmed level. If I hit the button again and hold it while it's already in a dimmed position, I hold it, it's now gonna increase the dimming all the way back up to full or until I let go of the switch. If I could choose to turn it off, I can use that same button to hit it, let go quickly, and the light will turn off. Next time I turn on the switch, the, the light will default to its original color of white. In addition to sequential switching, we have a scrolling option, where in this case, the spreader lights, we have two separate circuits, a forward and an aft spreader lights. So with one button push, I can control those two separate circuits with this one button. So if I turn it on the first time, I'm turning on the forward spreader light. If I hit that same button again, I'm now turning off the forward spreader light and leaving the aft spreader light on. If I turn that button one more time, I'm actually turning both lights on. Last button push will turn them both off. So what we're doing with one button is cleaning up the dash, not having multiple buttons, but allowing you to control each of those circuits individually with the same button. Although the Stewart 27 is completely digital, the battery management side of things is a standard on-off battery switch. So we have three batteries, three battery switches. The top one is your house battery switch. When you turn that battery switch on, the system wakes up, C-Zone's on, and you have power to the boat. In addition to on-off battery switches, the Stewart Boatworks 27 comes with the option of a smart remote parallel switch. This switch is a VSS voltage sensitive switch. It works as both a parallel switch and also as a uh, VSR voltage sensitive relay that allows your engine batteries to be charged. In its basic form, we've got a parallel switch. If you wanna combine the house with cranking batteries, you press and hold the button down, and these battery switches are gonna turn on for 10 minutes. This would be an application where your cranking batteries are low, you wanna access your cranking and house batteries together so that you can crank your engines. After 10 minutes, these switches are gonna automatically shut off. If you wanted to disconnect those battery switches, during that 10 minute time frame, simply hold the parallel switch button for five seconds and it will cancel the parallel process and shut off your parallel switches. The VSS function will happen automatically when the engines are running and your cranking batteries are full. In addition to battery management, this panel also has the breakers that are outside of C-Zone. We've discussed bilge pumps and how they are connected directly to the battery. These breakers are 24 hour and are pow powering up those bilge pumps. We also have standard breakers for trim tab, NEMA networks, 12 volt outlets, the console light. So this portion of the system is a standard analog system before we get to C-Zone. The C-Zone components are installed and kept inside of this cabinet and are being powered off of the C-Zone breaker. In addition to the circuit protection on this panel, if you open this cabinet, here are your C-Zone modules and an electronics fuse blocks that is powering up the Garmin and uh, Garmin screen and, and stereo. So these two boxes are actually where the switches are at for C-Zone. They turn on and off every accessory. So if I pop this lid off by grabbing my fingers under this lid and pulling off, here are the backup fuses we discussed earlier that are there to protect the circuits in line with our electronic circuit control. So if we run into a problem on any one of these circuits, you have a lid that tells you which circuit it's controlling with which fuse. So if we had a catastrophic failure and I couldn't turn on a light from the screen or a button, any one of these circuits can be overridden. So in this case, if I look at position three, this is my hardtop light. So if I take this fuse out, and above me is another set of fuse holders, and I put it in this upper position, I am now hardwiring that light circuit to the battery. So this top row of fuse holders is connected directly to the battery source. So at this time, the hard top light is hardwired to the battery with a fuse, bypassing C-Zone or any problems you may be having. So these are just a few of the numerous features that are available on the Stewart 27 and the C-Zone digital switching system. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact Stewart Boatworks 
and thanks for watching.